So I have my Digilent Nexus board that Digilent sent me. I have a cup of coffee and I have an hour. Let's see how far we get. I'm going to be setting everything up. I also have a second camera, which is actually a second phone because my current phone is that one doing the recording currently and getting it all set up. I have an anti-static wrist strap. It connects to my wrist and it is conductive and it also connects to the mat that the board is sitting on and it prevents static from damaging the parts on the board, especially when the board is an open board like this one. So now that I'm all plugged in, this is the cable that it comes with. And so I'm using Ubuntu, I'm using Linux, Ubuntu 1804 with 2004. I can't actually remember what I'm using. Plug this in. Now it's plugged in, I'm gonna turn it on. There we go. Ooh, fancy light. Okay, so this must be the default firmware that gets installed. So usually on the board somewhere, there'll be an external RAM chip and that will store the firmware. That is the default firmware so that the FPGA can start up from a firmware without being actually programmed over JTAG. And that's what this is. This is running the firmware that is off that chip. I'm going to do some installation. So there's a couple of things that we need. We need drivers and for all Xilinx boards, I think the installation process is exactly the same. Digilent has this install guide that I'll link below and I'm going to skip the Vivado install because I've already got Vivado. You can follow this for Vivado if you need to. And then installing the cable drivers in Linux, you just need to go to the install directory and run the command. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go sudo dash I and then CD over to that directory. It's basically the a location in the installation directory. It's, it's this location here that they mentioned there. So inside that directory is a whole bunch of driver install utilities and you just run them one after another. Install Digilent, install drivers, set up PC USB. Critical warning. Okay, that's fine. Set up Xilinx. So that's the driver's installation done. It's pretty quick and easy. You just go to the right place in the Vivado install directory and run those scripts as root. Now what I need to do, I'm going to get myself out of here. Actually, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to change into my git directory. I need the board files for this board. So those instructions that I gave of just for Xilinx, any Xilinx chipset. And then these are for specifically Digilent boards. So you don't necessarily need to have a Nexus. Any Digilent board will do. All I'm doing now is I'm going to the Digilent GitHub. And so these are the XDC files for the Digilent board. So I'm going to clone this. My Git folder, Git clone paste like that. And then I'm also going to get, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to get the Vivado boards directory. And I'm going to clone this, copy, clone, paste, that's going to clone that. So the XDC files I'm going to use for my constraints for the board to be able to access a pin. I did make a video about constraints if you need to make your own constraints file, if you don't have a Digilent board, or even if you do and you want to do it yourself, there's a video there on constraints. I don't need to do those today because I'm going to get the constraint files from the Digilent repo. So that's this guy. That was the constraint files and that is the board files. So the board files just tell Vivado about your board specifically. The constraint files tell Vivado about what pins on your board are available. So I'm going to copy the board files. According to this, I need to copy them to data boards board files. So I'm just gonna go back to my console here. CD boards board files. Yeah, LS. I already have them, I can see. So, I'm, but I'm still gonna copy home, Stacy, get Vivado board star dash dot and I need to put a dash all day. So I have all the board files already, but now I just recopied them. ch own dash r stacy stacy dot oh, because the ownership is wrong. Okay. So now I have all my board files and that's it. Now we have everything we need. We've got the drivers, we've got the board files, we've got the XDC files. So I'm just opening Vivado now. I'm going to go to Tools Open Hardware Manager and I'm going to plug it in and turn it on. Click Open Target, Auto Connect. There we go. So now I can see it's picked up that I have a Digilent board connected. So we're all ready to go. So as you can see, 
there's quite a lot of bits and pieces that go into doing something like this. And I think that this is one of the reasons why, apart from Verilog itself and the fact that it's very different from normal programming, also all of these little bits and pieces that you need to kind of bring together and that can also make the learning curve quite steep and make it quite difficult. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do a simple video like this, have a clear demonstration of what needs to be done, what needs to be thought about, and how we go through this process. And I hope that, that this can be helpful for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye!